Hi everyone, I'm Urban Girl and welcome to my channel. Well, here we are. We're out in the local woods again, thankfully. Um, uh, I've come today to try and set up the East German Strictarn tarp with the two uh, Zeltban halves. So I've got my work cut out for me. I've not actually tried this setup before, but I did experiment with a DG tarp. Um, so I kind of know what I'm going for, but a fair wee bit of work to do with the setup. It's um, quite a busy day today. There's a lot of people out in the local woods walking their dogs, exercising, kids running about having fun. So probably be a noisy day. But anyway, let's get a bit further in. So my lunch for today is just a kind of noodle um, pot noodle type of thing, chicken noodle type thing um, and my usual, my wee extra bits of chicken that I like to put in it and uh, I'm just going to use the BCB stove, Crusader Mark II stove with my French Army canteen cup. I decided to do that today instead of having a fire because um, I knew that the shelter was going to take me quite a fair bit of time to put up and um, after that I thought um, I didn't really want to use I don't want to spend a lot of time processing firewood. I mean it's been lashing with rain, we've had snow, it's been pretty cold and damp and wet so um, you know the wood would be uh, fairly difficult to source first of all um, but you know once you've sourced it it is possible but once you've sourced it you've obviously got to process it up you know you make sure you can get to the dry stuff in the inside um, and that's a that's a lot of work for an afternoon so yeah I'm just going to chillax in the shelter and uh, set my lunch up My lunch chuck box. <laughs> I bought this uh, Crusader stove yonkers ago because um, I've got the wee tiny BCB one, the wee kind of fold out one. Um, but to be honest, uh, I don't find it that handy um, for the canteen cup. The canteen cup doesn't really sit on it very, you know, very sta stably. Is that a word? I don't think so. <laughs> anyway, it's not very stable. Um, so, but, you know, this Crusader cup is just absolutely perfect for it. With the uh, fire dragon fuel. I better make sure I have my gloves handy before I start. I think I put them back in my bag, did I? Where did I put them? Oh, dummy, they're right next to you. They're sitting right next to me. I didn't bring my other um, ground sheet either, which I normally do. It was to save this other this picnic blanket getting really um, dirty. I wished I had brought it because it's not really that heavy at all. Um, and it gives you another extra protection layer against the, the cold ground. But anyway, I think Santa's bringing me another little replacement. Just another wee cheap one, but yeah. That blue one's getting a bit smelly. I've had it. Santa brought me that last year uh, from my son, so... Um, yeah, it's getting a bit smelly, that one. But, I mean, that's a good thing. I mean, yeah, they're just cheap, but, you know, it means you don't care and you can get another one. So, that'll be good. There's a couple walking down there with their dog. Beautiful big um, Japanese Akita. It's massive. Nice dog, but a lot to handle, I think. You know, if they're not handled properly, they can be aggressive. One of the most famous Japanese Akita that you might have heard of. Um, for those of you that are a certain age, is uh, O.J. Simpson's dog. Well, it was the wife's dog, but yeah, it was a Japanese Akita they had.
I might just put this wee wind deflector up. It's not that windy, but do you know what? It'll help reflect the heat back into me <laughs> for a minute. Although my blanket's keeping me warm. Right, got me noodles, got me chicken. I don't know if I should put my lantern on as well. Let's see. Probably need to get a new candle on there. Now, for anybody that is thinking about getting these Yuko candles, so I've got this mini tea light one, but I'll tell you one of the things that I found about it. Um, all of the wax melts on that inside ring which means that the the wee clips that hold the candle in place are getting pushed in now so you really need a way of getting that wax out there anyway that's just my experience of it I have got a new candle in here I'll see if I can get it in it As I said, they're pretty um, stretched out of place. Because what they do is they hold the candle in place. It's to stop the candle moving about when you light it. I've even got wax on the inside of the glass up here as well. Which again, isn't great. See if we can get this to light, or rather, if we can get the top to go on properly. Now, another thing about this candle that you need to be wary of is this top bit here. Once the candle's been burning for quite a while, that bit gets really, really hot. So, um, you know, nylon tent, that kind of thing, you need to be really careful where you put it. <laughs> and you need to remember, you know, to extinguish it properly at night and, uh, you know, make sure you put it somewhere safe before you go to sleep, etc, etc. So, I've just put it up there in the corner next to me. Right, where's my gel? It's in my box. I mean, this box, see this box? It is quite heavy, you know, once you've got all your stuff in it, but I love it. Because it's great. You can just organise everything into wee ducats. <laughs> I mean, if you like organising stuff, you know, in that kind of way, you'll really enjoy it. So, it was definitely worth it for me. Now because these have a very strict burn time, get yourself organised before you light it guys. Because as soon as that's lit, you want your food on there cooking, that's it, end of. Right, there's my water. My East German strict turn flask. I've not got the cup on it. I don't need the cup today, so. I was pretending I was packing light, but that's a joke. <laughs> but anyway, I don't need it. 
Right, what I'm going to do is, let's get those noodles into the cup. Um, and we've probably got a fill level on here. Ooh, nice. So, seasoning, probably some hot sauce or something. Noodles. Uh, I'm having bang bang chicken feel good today. I'm just going to bung it all in. Bung the water in as well. I won't put too much in there, I'll wait and see because obviously with the, the noodles out of it, I don't know, might be a different level, let's see. We'll find out soon enough. It might just end up being soupy. <laughs> I'm putting the chicken in as well, so the chicken will take up a bit of the space for the liquid. Right. Get my wee knife. And I'll just put the flavour and the seasoning and everything in. Sorry, you're probably getting a bit of wobble in the camera here because I've got it hanging up on the ridge line. Oh, that smells nice. Right, I imagine this is probably chilli flakes. Yeah, they're, they're chilli flakes. Some sort of chilli thing, I think. But stuff it, I'm putting it in. Right. Put my knife away. And get my cutlery, which I thought I put in there. Maybe not. No, I put it in my bag. Right, I think that's everything I need. Um, yeah. That's it. Yeah, I've got the chicken here. I really do need to cut that up. But let's just start by getting the Trying to get the noodles cooked. A wee bit wobbly, it's not flat, but never mind. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm right next to it anyway, so I can keep an eye on it.
I've got my wee chopping board with me, so I'll chop the chicken on that. I've got a wee stirred here for the noodles as well. I've got another uh, fuel in there if I need it. Anyway. Well, fire's out, so let's see what it looks like. Well, not soupy at all. <laughs> I'll get a wee stir through. Pretty perfect actually, look at that. Pretty good. Time to enjoy lunch. I was talking to a guy there that walked past. People like to stop and ask him, look at the shelter. Means I can pick up a new subscriber, hopefully. Mm. Nice. That wee bit of spice, that wee bit of chilli will heat me up as well. Anyway guys, <laughs> right, I'll go and enjoy the rest of my lunch. Well, there we go guys, I've got lunch. That's me, I'm all packed up. Thanks again for watching my channel. I really do appreciate all your views and support. Leave me some comments if there's anything that, uh, any tips or hints or tricks, anything at all, guys. If you are watching and you've not subscribed to my channel yet, think about subscribing to help support me. I upload content regularly just for entertainment. I'm just an urban girl out having a bit of fun. Bye!